Do you know what is sustainable construction? When asking about what is sustainable construction, believe that most of the people don't know about what it is all about. In Malaysia, the government start to practice and develop this sustainable concept to the construction development. In the Construction Industry Transformation Program 2016 till 2020, Malaysia's nation aims to transform the construction industry towards becoming environmentally sustainable. The principle of sustainable construction included of reuse, reduce and recycle of resources to give protection to the environment and the nature. It was also apply life cycle economies, and define as an idea of ensuring a better quality of life. It helped contractor to create quality built environment to every person, now and for future generation by means of achieving social, economic and environmental objective at the same time. In this video, we carry out a case study of sustainable construction. The example we choose is Johar Bahru Tenga. Municipal Council, MPJVT. It is an existing government office building which located at Johar Bahru in Malaysia. For the social aspect, how can we improve the sustainability of MPJVT building? I suggest to build a covered walkway connecting the car park with the building entrance. There is quite a distance from the existing open-air car parks to the building entrance. Covered walkway can prevent the visitors from getting wet during rainy day. I think that we could increase the numbers of disabled toilet in the building. The disabled toilet provided in the building are limited. Increasing the numbers of disabled toilet can reduce their waiting time. Besides, we should also increase the numbers of car parks for disabled and elderly. Locate them near to the entrance for their convenience. The existing disabled car parks are insufficient. Provide braille sign and tactile indicator to improve accessibility of the visually impaired. Braille is a system of reading and writing by touch used by the blind. Braille sign allows them to read the sign which cannot be seen by them. Tactile indicator is a system of textured ground surface indicator found on footpaths to assist visually impaired pedestrians to alert them of approaching streets and hazardous surface. Another aspect that need to be considered in sustainability is the environmental aspect. The environmental aspect of sustainability involves taking care of our surroundings. This includes the ability to maintain the qualities that are valued in the physical environment. The current condition is that the building use glass material for its facade. The impact of using it is glass absorb heat and will reflect the sunlight heat from the building to the surroundings, like neighbor building, pedestrian, car, etc. And, as a result of using it, the temperature inside the building and the surrounding will rise. The improvement and additional modification that can be done is change the facade to living green wall facade, and, add a rooftop garden for the building. The benefit is, the reintroduction of vegetation into urban environments promotes the occurrence of natural cooling processes, such as photosynthesis and evapotranspiration, thus, help, reduce the temperature. A green wall in an urban area can help improve local air quality, both by absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen, and by trapping dust and other pollutants. By adding a layer of insulation, both thermal and acoustic, green walls and roof absorb sound, making a positive impact for both the building's occupants and the local environment. Also, it have been proved, buildings that feature and promote access to vegetation have been documented as having a greater positive human health impact than those without. Secondly, economic aspect. The current issue in MPJBT is lack of natural lighting. The lack of natural lighting will consume more energy for lighting. The lack of natural lighting are caused by there isn't much windows and the ones that are present are mostly covered by curtains. There are many ways to overcome this problem. The first would be to introduce a tubular daylighting system. This system will help transfer natural lighting into the building. Here is how it works. All the components in the daylighting system will be installed. The components are in dorm reflector daylighting capturing dorm, 
reflecting tube, and lighting features. Sunlight will be captured in the dorm and transfer through dorm reflector, reflecting tube and finally light up the lightings. The advantage of this system is it is energy efficient and easy to install. The second method is to use tinted windows instead of conventional windows. There are many advantages of using such windows instead conventional windows. Tinted windows can block the wavelength that introduces heat while at the same time, allow natural light to pass through. Next, we move to the other item that is lighting in MPJBT building. The uses of light in MPJBT buildings is very high. This building is the main office in this area and every day there is always many affairs or business involving civilians and government servants here. Use and manage wisely the resources of lighting will able to reduce the usage of electricity. Whatever brightness you can't achieve passively with sunlight, you'll make up with electric lights. Obviously you want energy efficient ones. You measure lighting efficacy by how many lumens of light it delivers per watt of electricity. This includes both the bulbs that generate the light and the fixtures that distribute it. There are various brands that manufacture these LED products. The advantages of using this product is, it saves energy until 80% and also have extra long life up to 25 years. Lamps such as LED lights are also cooler at daylight and non dimmer Another economic aspect that can lead to sustainable building is through selection of the most suitable air conditioning system. For this MPJBT building, the main type of air conditioning used is central air conditioning system and it is over design. This is because, too much space in the building has air ducts for air conditioning systems. This lead to a lot of unused space but still flown by the cold air from the air conditioner. Another disadvantage for central air conditioning system is required a lot of space for installation of cooling tower. Solution. This building should use split unit system rather than central system. Split unit air conditioners are easier to install and also cheaper than central air conditioning systems. Also the space required for the installation is much smaller unlike the central system. Besides that, split unit air conditioners are the best choice because it is in different units so that it can be controlled separately. So, the air conditioner can be switched off for the space that not in used. This can help a lot to reduce the usage of electrical energy and also can save a huge amount of money in a long term period. Water also part of economic element to have sustainable building. Rainwater collect through gutter. Rainwater will go through pipe and be processed in water filter. The water will be stored in water tank using pump and distributing the water to be used in toilet pump and for landscape watering. Water pump was used to distribute water in the building, so to get sustainable building, we have to move to the water tank to rooftop. Existing toilet flush in MPJBT toilet was single flush pump. Single flush pump makers use the same amount for big and small business. To be sustained, the toilet pump can be changed to dual flush pump. This method will help us to get sustainable building and save more money. Now. We move to photovoltaic solar system. Every hour, sun's energy falls on the planet. It is equal to the amount of energy that's used by the entire human population every year. Therefore, solar panel is integrated to convert the energy to clean electricity from the limitless supply for free. Here is the process of solar system. Solar panel will collect the energy directly from sun. Next. The energy will flow as a DC and convert it to AC through the inverter. Finally, it's ready to be used. If there is extra power, it will flows back into the grid. The local authorities will pay to the user for the extra solar power that flows into the grid. So, the user will receive financial rewards for the electricity that the solar panels generate. These are the benefits of solar system natural and immutable resources environmental friendly financial benefit save energy and most important reduce global warming therefore mpjbt will achieve the benefits and let's save the world